Hello. This week we are working on an introduction to long division, but we're going to begin with some review from third grade on how to solve division problems. These pages are not pages that you have in your fourth grade math book, but you should have picked them up from your teacher at the pickup day. So if you will get those math papers that you picked up, these are them. You're going to start out on page 227 with lesson 10, session 1. This should all be a review from what you learned in third grade. So we're going to start right here with number one. It says, imagine Jake has eight cookies. Draw cookies on the plates below to show how to divide the cookies into two equal groups. Well, because we're working with eight cookies, we're going to go back and forth between the two as we draw the cookies on the plates. And we're going to count as we do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that I am finished counting my eight cookies, I'm going to count how many cookies are on one plate. One, two, three, four. I'm also going to make sure that there's the same amount of cookies on each plate. One, two, three, four. So each of my cookies have, each of my plates have four cookies. Jake divided eight by two. How much is eight divided by two? Well, eight divided by two is four. We also can know this because if we turn this around and do 4 times 2, it should equal 8. One way you can use division, let me zoom in here just a little so we can actually see this a little bit better. All right. One way we can use division is to find how many in each group. Fill in the blanks to complete the division equation for the problem. There are eight in all, because we have eight total cookies. There are two equal groups, because we had two plates, and they have equal number on each plate. There are four in each group, so we have four here. The divided sign means divided by. Go ahead and move on to page 228. Now, imagine Rosie has 10 cookies. She wants to put two cookies on each plate. Draw 10 cookies in groups of two on plates. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw my two plates because it tells us right here that Rosie has two plates. So there are my two plates. Now the next thing is, is she has 10 cookies and we are going to divide those cookies evenly onto the plates. So I'm going to do just like I did on my last problem. I'm going to draw cookies and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I can see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cookies on both of my plates. So they have an equal number of cookies on each plate. Down here I can see that 10, it says Rosie divided 10 by 2. How much is 10? This means divided by 2. Well 10 divided by 2 would be 5. Another way to use division is to find the number of groups. So fill in the blanks to complete it. There are 10 cookies in all, so that's my 10. There are 5 cookies in each group. Notice how we're doing it backwards from last time. There are 2 equal groups. So if you take a look back on your first page, you will notice that it says there are 8 in all, just like down here it says there are 10 in all. But then up here it says there are 2 equal groups. But on this one, they moved their two equal groups over here. Because when you have these two multiplication things right here, 
you should be able to move those around and still be able to get the same answer. This is called a fact family. So I'm going to give you a little example of a fact family. We're not going to do number seven. We're going to do a fact family with this one. So if I have 10 divided by 5, it's going to equal 2. We already know that from this problem. But if I have 10 divided by 2, it's going to equal 5. Notice how the 2 and the 5 switch here. I can also do multiplication for this problem. 5 times 2 equals 10. Notice how I take the same three numbers, but I rearrange them to make a multiplication problem. But then I can do the same thing. 2 times 5 equals 10. When you have these four equations right here, it is called a fact family. So even if you do not know your, long, your division facts very well, if you can make a fact family with the things from your multiplication problem, then you are able to solve division problems. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the word divide. When you divide, you are making equal groups of something. You are taking it and you are splitting it apart to make equal groups. I guess a good way to put it on there would be splitting apart. So my illustration can be if I have eight cookies and I have four plates I can do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can take eight cookies and split them apart evenly onto four plates and it makes two on each plate. Another example could be eight divided by four equals two. Or if I had two plates, I could have done eight divided by two equals 4. Something that would not be a good example would be something that looks like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. The reason this is not a good example is because there is not equal amounts of cookies on each plate. You have to have an equal number on each plate, just like up here. All right, let's take a look at number two. Oscar draws a diagram to help find 12 divided by 3. Explain how his diagram helps him solve the division problem. Well, if he knows that he has 12 dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it looks like he probably started by just putting 12 dots here. Then he circled three dots at a time. After he circled three dots at a time, he was able to tell that his answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. So Oscar drew... 12 dots, then he drew boxes around groups of three dots to see there are four groups of three dots. And that is how you find your answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at page 230. Up here at the top of page 230, it says, Rance has 12 crackers. He wants to put four crackers on each plate. 
Draw 12 crackers in groups of four on plates. I'm going to show you how to do this one just a little bit different. I'm going to base it off of this bottom problem right here and show you another way to solve this. So I'm just going to draw 12 crackers. So I have my 12 crackers here, and here it says he wants to put four crackers on each plate. So I'm going to use my pencil or my pen, and I'm going to draw circles around crackers in groups of four. It doesn't matter how you do this, but they should be kind of close to each other. So there's a group, here's a group of four, and here's a group of four. There are many different ways that you can show your groups, but after I draw my circles around each group of four, I can clearly see that I have one, two, three groups of four. So if I had plates, I would need three plates, and each plate would have four crackers on it. So how many plates will Rance need, and how do you know? Rance needs, four, needs, I'm sorry, three plates because 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Fill in the blanks to complete the division equation for the problem. There are how many crackers in all? Well, there are 12 crackers in all. There are how many in each group? Well, we can see here that we have four crackers in each group. So there are blank equal groups. We can see that there's one, two, three equal groups. And that is it for all for this lesson. I will see you back for our second lesson in um, Introduction to Division.